इतना सफर है कुछ होने में और बहुत कुछ होने में इतना सफर है एक बार सोच के छोड़ देने में और लग के कर दिखाने में मान लेने में कि जिंदगी ऐसे ही कटेगी और सुबह चार बजे उठ के सोचने में ये अभी तो बस शुरुआत है किसी मैगजीन को हाथ में लेने में और उसी मैगजीन के कवर पेज पे होने में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वीआईपी सीट में और उसकी पिछली सीट में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वो जिसका मैदान ही खुला आसमान है वही कल जमीन पर तो था पूछोगे तो बताएगा वो पंछी एक दायरे में सिमटने में और पूरी दुनिया को दायरा बनाने में बस इतना सा फर्क है इतना कितना है इतना है या इतना है जो नापेगा वो जाने कि जहां धरती और आसमान मिलते हैं नानकुर से दूर अगर मगर शायद से दूर वहां भी दोनों में फर्क बस इतना सा है धरती और सातवें आसमान में फर्क बस इतना सा है ये एक अंतर प्रेरणा है ये हमारी आपकी हम सब की अंतर प्रेरणा है एक कदम एक छलांग एक बाजी एक गहरी सांस और एक ललकार खुली हवाओं में कि हां मैं बना हूं उन फिजाओं के लिए कि हां मैं बना हूं उन ऊंचाइयों के लिए जो ऊंची तो बहुत है पर नामुमकिन भी नहीं क्योंकि मुमकिन और नामुमकिन में बस इतना सा फर्क धूप छाओ में फर्क बस इतना सा तो बस चलिए फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया के साथ ये फर्क मिटा देते हैं फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this webinar of Business Opportunity Over Chai. As you know that the Business Opportunity Over Chai webinar is presented by the Management of Franchise India, with an aim to introduce you with new business opportunity every day at twelve o'clock. With the same aim and same excitement, today also we have come up with a new business opportunity for all of you, and we are going to represent a great F&B brand. But before we will start discussing the brand, and I'll inform you about the brand details. Let me just quickly run you through with the Q and A process. If you have any questions during the webinar, you can leave your questions into the Q and A box. We will take up all your questions post our presentation. So during the brand presentation, you can keep sharing your questions into the Q and A box. I see already some of you are raising your hand. I request you instead of raising your hand, you can leave your questions, your queries, and any interest of city into the Q and A box. we will be answering all your questions live in this webinar post our presentation so with this i would like to welcome all our panelists who have joined us today we do have mr ashok kumar who is a senior consultant in franchise india who will be helping in understanding the commercial part we do have uh, uh, we do have miss priya kandhari who is the co-founder at mr scoop the brand name is mr scoops which we are going to discuss today they are uh, they are providing the opportunity with ice cream parlor in uh, starting with 8 lakh rupees i would like to welcome you ms priya here on this panel today we do have mr pratik who is joined uh, here from franchise india team who will be handling the franchising part and will be connecting with you post this webinar within today and tomorrow so i would like to welcome all of you here on this panel today and now i would like to request ms priya to take the lead and tell our participants more about the brand and also about the business opportunity you have to share with all of them over to you ms priya uh good afternoon everybody uh, i am really excited to introduce myself uh, as an ice cream brand the upcoming youth iconic ice cream brand i don't say that uh, it is upcoming uh, just purely upcoming i have a brand legacy of about 28 years into this ice cream business and i have pioneered this and shaped it now into the new segment of artisanal ice creams so uh, we were uh, we are and we were a leading brand of dairy products so to begin with uh, i would just like to uh, give you a synopsis about our ice cream industry it's a very uh, there's a very few facts that are you can either google or search it but i would just like to you know because it is more relevant on to this concept why do you think we should invest in ice creams according to the imarc uh, website 
2015, uh, we, we have seen a sale about 7,000 crores sale of ice cream in India. This went up to 17,000 crores in 2020, 19,410 crores in 2022. The point here to notice is that we these years, 2022, are were COVID years. Okay, Despite of that, we have seen about a 15% jump of ice cream annually uh, over the years. And it is expected that in 2028, we will be touching 50,840 crores of business in India. So basically, in seven years, we'll be touching a 17 point something average uh, uh, growth return for the ice cream industry. So the future of ice cream business in India is very high prospective, highly prospective. As you can see, as you, I don't know if you know or not, but I'd just like to state you a fact. In India, the per capita consumption, that is, ek admi, ek saal mein, around 400 ml ice cream khata in India. Okay? And if you talk about China, it is about 3,000 ml per year, per capita consumption. And if you see USA, it's 22,000 ml per year per person. Okay? So why I'm highlighting this point is, since we know that the GDP, uh, ice cream is a luxury product, and the GDP of any country determines how much a person will spend. So as the GDP of our country, as you can all know, is growing and increasing, so we are ten bound to touch this 22,000 uh, 22, ml uh, consumption at any point, just like USA. So this shows how if our GDP increases, the ice cream industry will definitely go on the boom next year, next time. Now talking about uh, why, like why, what we are specializing and what forward vision we have in the ice cream industry. See, up till now, uh, people were concentrating only on basic flavors like chocolate, vanilla and some minimal fruit based flavors. But now if you know, the, uh, like if you uh, like if you are joined a gym though you pay the membership of a gym but most of the people like personal trainers okay so similarly i would like to say that now ice cream is just not ice cream of the basic flavor it is now developed as artisanal people like specific uh, groups of ice cream like uh, people uh, like less sugar diabetic friendly uh, it should be keto friendly and there are many other things that are called artisanal. You know, artisanal means something that is added, uh, that gives an added special human touch. So what we are developing as Mr. Scoops is into the future gen, that is artisanal ice creams. Though we do uh, basic ice cream flavors as well, but this is what we are projecting. We have a good... It seems uh, Miss Priya got some network issues. Meanwhile, I would request uh, Ashokji if you want to take up. Yeah. Uh, it seems she's back. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, till now, uh, I have just given up. I I hope everybody's uh, my introduction to the ice cream industry is clear. And uh, uh, one more thing, I would like to clarify more. Is just a small thing that people uh, tend to, you know, get uh, a people have a tendency to choose between an impulse and an ice cream parlor brand. Okay, impulse is what you have the small kiosk, the uh, small carts in which you uh, sell uh, ice creams about thirty to forty rupees, and in an ice cream parlor we have a bucket size of about hundred to two fifty. So what we are aiming is at ice cream parlor business. And why I'm supporting this cause is that uh, if you sell an impulse, say, of about 30 to 40 rupees, all that you can earn is about 3 to 4 rupees from one impulse. So if to earn a 40,000 rupees a month, you have to uh, at least gain 1,000 customers for that impulse. But if you go on to an uh, ice cream parlor concept where you have a premix, where you have recipes, where you have uh, sundaes and other things, there you have the golden formula for the profit. So 2.5% of your effort is reduced because you'll just have to, instead of finding uh, for a bucket size of about 200, you'll just have to find about 400 customers to get your profit. 
okay so this is why uh, in and in today's world because of so much of competition we'll have to be unique and very fast in getting people understand our uh, quality and get out of get profits out of it so uh, the now coming on to our heritage as i have already explained that we have been into this business past 28 years from top to the bottom everything is under our umbrella if you call ingredients if you call uh, mixes pre mixes everything even dry fruit sourcing is from yeah. our own brand that is an, uh, our sister concern rupa dairy farms private limited so uh, this is how we have built a brand legacy up and we as dairy business people are doing a lot of white labeling why a lot of bay to b for many top leading brands of delhi and india so can we move on to the next slide yeah okay so as i also also uh, just in my brief introduction i've already explained that uh, our slogan is good for all because i am Uh, trending towards artisanal ice creams so it's not just about what i i don't make what i like i make what people like so my slogan good for all is uh, apt for my brand and uh, i also um, i'm i'm a little uh, conscious about young people old people diabetic people so we have uh, ice cream that caters to all uh, brands uh, all uh, segments of the society yeah can we move on next so basically as uh, you can see that uh, we are very passionate uh, about our work especially i am very passionate about my work as i have already uh, as i just briefed you earlier also that i have earned and i know that there is a lot of success behind this ice cream business so my purpose is to build a community of entrepreneurs and pass on this success formula to other people next okay now as you we were talking about as i've already explained that uh, the impulse and why not in why not impulse and why ice cream parlor okay so what gives you a better advantage over impulse is that when you have an ice cream parlor concept there you been treated your customer is uh, is treated like a king you will offer him shakes you will offer him brownies you will offer him waffles you can offer him cheesecakes you can offer him bubble tea you can offer him anything that is closely related to the sweet desert world because ice cream is such that gels with air, that is you know that is the king of all deserts so uh, this is how we can you know win the customer by making him feel like a king and offering him the best deserts that he can even dream of because chocolate can play so well with ice creams that nobody can ever even ever imagine and that is paid well as well yeah next definitely our vision is to become the uh, top leading brand of ice cream not only in this country but yes in the world and uh, we are definitely motivated and dedicated in building this ice cream world with a lot of pleasure and with a lot of zeal so that people connected to us can get the benefits of what uh, what we what benefits we've derived from this business so this is how uh, our prototype has been created we basically are uh, this is uh, the uh, one of the outlook of our store that is about 120 square feet area so this is uh, the rough proof uh, it's a prototype of that yeah
so uh this is a very uh, you know common question and a very important question to understand and i need to answer this very distinctly why choose mr scoops the first thing that i would tell you why choose mr scoops is that our vision and our making of ice cream there is one thing that is very uh, inherent in that is honesty honesty as per quality honesty as per commitment if i say honesty as per quality that means i am not using anything that is not uh, th that is less in quality uh, in this whole uh, sphere for example people compromise on quality by using vegetable oil palm oil we do not do this our motto is to make ice creams with only fresh cream fresh milk and the best products of that is whatever products that we are using have to be of the utmost quality in that area made be kesar made be rose uh, gulab whatever ingredients we are using they are purest to the core so the first thing that you've got to understand is why choose mr scopes is because of its honesty in preparation of its products second we have uniqueness in our flavors that we can uh, when we sit down i can explain it to you we are curating flavors in such a scientific manner that people uh, would not even think of how these ice creams are made for me ice cream is a passion it i am doing it just as a passion like just like if i'm if i would have a child and the way i would nurture that child i am nurturing my ice cream business like that for just i'll give you an example of one of my flavors that i would like to that i would tell you how how passionate i am about my work i have a flavor of ice cream for children so what i do for that is my uh, doctors who are making these ice creams one they are controlling the calorie content so that it is not harm the sugar content is not harmful for the child for one cup and second the 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 ingredient that we are putting in that ice cream is cut in such a manner that even if the child swallows that it will not choke him choke his uh, throat so this is just one example just to show how passionate we are about our ice cream making and obviously we have other uh, uh, other segments also like diabetic sugar low fat sugar free many other things and they are all suited for all seasons and all occasions can we move on next our brand usp is definitely that we have a very strong brand identity in ncr if um, today uh, i think we are labeling uh, we are doing a lot of white labeling and about 60% of delhi in some way or the other is using our ice creams made be shakes made be juice parlors made be restaurants uh, you would not even know but the uh, mr scoops is all around you and uh, we have we've been running a cafe of ice cream in krishna nagar since 25 years so i can share the testimonials of customers their experiences their love and their warmth for our brand and uh, definitely product supply chain is all intact our outreach is good high quality standards that i can vouch for innovation is what i've already told you and uh, definitely now the marketing the branding and the best part is that we are going to go into a single window franchisee support where you will be assisted guided and led to your profits very easily so now can we move on okay uh, i've already explained this uh, so we can move on like okay so again uh, this was uh, just uh, this is just a synopsis as what that people now are preferring curated flavors they are moving on to specialized sort of ice creams not just the basic 
ones. So we are the best solution for that. Next. Uh, so basically, uh, first of all, we are going to, uh, what, what our plans for the next six months are, that we are moving into uh, an all India plan. But first of all, we'll have been, we'll be covering uh, Delhi NCR, then uh, areas around Delhi NCR in clusters. So it is most welcome that uh, uh, this is how we are going to move about in the, uh, in the following months. We first cover Delhi NCR, then probably Punjab, then move on to Rajasthan. That we can see as per the queries come. Yeah. Next. Okay. So, uh, Ar uh, Ashok ji, would you like to explain this or should I explain? Uh, yes, Priya ji, you continue. I'll add my comments in the, at the end okay, of the okay, presentation. Okay. okay. So basically, uh, now to talk about more of our franchisee model, uh, we've developed about uh, just uh, roughly about three prototypes. The first one is a small kiosk, high street. And uh, the total investment for that would be uh, around seven to eight lakhs. And uh, this is uh, the, all the figures definitely are given, but the best part to note here is that we uh, get our ROI return. Like that is just about 12 to 14 months. You will get back your ROI. You will start getting this. And the second best part about our model is that we are giving you uh, it's about 50% of Gross profit. You talk about any other ice cream brand, you will not get this percent of margin. This makes our model very lucrative. All that we have to uh, keep in intact is our inventory control. And uh, we'll have to have shops in high footfall areas. There is nothing that can stop us then. So, so the first one is the kiosk high street model where we can put up put these up in uh, like uh, good high streets. Second, we have a mall kiosk mall uh, where we can you know put up small kiosks in malls, depending upon our budget and the investor's budget. And third, we have a parlor concept, which is a little bigger concept where we can offer people uh, more varieties where they can sit, enjoy luxurious Sundays, waffles, brownies, and n number of things in terms of deserts associated with ice creams. So these are our three models. And uh, the investment for the first one is like all about uh, seven to eight lakhs, both the first two models of kiosk. And the second, uh, the last one, the parlor one is a little higher depending upon the infrastructure and the interior. That's just about the difference that makes for the cost. Rest, everything is uh, very economical, very feasible and high return giving. So uh, anything else you want to add, Ashokji? Uh, yes, Priya. Yeah. Yeah. So if you look at the, I think these two formats. Uh, so whatever the projections that we have considered, we have considered at a conservative side. If you start a like uh, ice cream business uh, at a high street or at mall location, you will get uh, like very high footfall, and it's an impulse buying. Uh, so it it makes a uh, like uh, quick uh, returns on your investment. We have uh, like kept our return on investment, your ROI for uh, twelve to fourteen months. But if my franchisee perform better, if they do better sales, this uh, uh, ROI can be achieved in eight to ten months. Right. Second thing uh, uh, that uh, uh, Mr. Scoops, what they have done basically, they are also adding uh, additional product categories. You know, so in see in in some seasons where as your ice cream uh, uh, sales goes down, so we have the other product categories that basically uh, fulfill that gap for your sales. So you get basically throughout the year uh, a throughput from your um, outlet. So that is the unique uh, of this business model uh, 
uh, in this format, right? And at a parlor that we are looking at like 1400, sorry, 400 square feet, and that's investment are around 16 lakh rupees. And this 16 lakh rupees includes your 3 lakh rupees franchise fee. So your in initial setup cost is only uh, uh, 12 to 13 lakh rupees. Similarly, for your small kiosk, your 8 lakh rupees or 7 lakh rupees investment, it includes your franchise fee. Right. And plus, you have to like uh, keep like a small inventory, and and uh, uh, you can make a very good profit. If you look at the like areas that we are looking for for any like malls, uh, your education clusters, high street markets, uh, uh, your airports, uh, these are the prime uh, locations uh, for this business model. You also look at the, some of the aspects, basically where your uh, society have like play areas. Uh, where kids usually go for you know uh, for their um, evening classes or some sports classes so those areas are very attractive uh, for this business model and and uh, yes of course like uh, uh, tourist places so these are very attractive uh, locations for this business it's very suitable and at these locations, you, you will get basically reasonable rentals uh, as compared to your malls and, and airports. Uh, yes, we can move to the next slide. Yeah. So basically, our brand is going to assist um... Our franchisees in selection of the store with approval because uh, definitely we have a def, um, edge how to find out best locations, high footfall areas. We'll be assisting in marketing strategies, uh, promotional schemes. Staff training will also be given to the staff that is recruited by the franchisee. And uh, we will be uh, flagging, tagging, uh, our franchisees on our social media outreach. Yeah. I will add more. Uh, yeah, Priyaji, I will add some more here on this. Yeah. Please go back to the previous slide. Yeah. Neha, please. Uh, this one. Right. So, our strategy, as I think in the previous slide, you have looked at our rollout plan. So, that is. Uh, plan is, uh, uh, you know, organized uh, towards your northern you know, India, right? So cities were highlighted in the presentation. More like of like from UP, Rajasthan, Haryana, you know, but we are open for Pan India expansion. We are not limited for only for these locations, right? And we also saw uh, like uh, saw some questions in terms of uh, somebody is looking for like Kolkata uh, and other uh, part of the country. It means we are open for those locations, but we will uh, look for area master franchisee partners so they can have like you know uh, a network of larger uh, units. If somebody have somebody has like um, a potential to create a network of ten units in Kolkata, we are uh, we're happy to uh, uh, start that uh, venture with them because opening one outlet at, in like you you say like in Kolkata or in Patna or Mumbai is not going to be feasible for us because we have to, main, you know, organize the entire uh, supply chain and uh, product delivery mechanism to our individual franchisee stores, right? But for the northern area, basically, we are looking for single unit, multi-unit, we are open for. And for other parts of the country, we are looking for uh, area master franchisees. So these area master franchisees, somebody wants to take a license for entire state. Uh, we are open for that. We can evaluate the capabilities and we can uh, work out on the proposal accordingly. If somebody wants to take a license for like particular city, he has to give us a minimum commitment of like 10, 15 units. We can start uh, city level master franchise concepts as well. Right. So our strategy is broad and we are open for all possibilities and in all markets. Next slide, please. Yeah, as far as concerns, you're basically who can be the ideal partner profile. So we are looking for the partners who can invest their time in business because they have to do the, uh, you know, uh, 
local market demand generation and the sales they need to generate um, if and 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 so yes of course it requires if you have some expertise or experience in the retail or fnb business uh, it will have a plus or you can say have an advantage but it is not necessary to to have a uh, previous experience anyone can start this business is a very low investment if you invest like 5 7 lakh rupees and you start earning um, uh, 1 lakh or 1.5 lakh rupees it's a very attractive uh, value proposition uh, which is uh, uh, higher than like lot of the white collar professionals are not uh, able to achieve that and that kind of earnings you can make yourself yes so my franchisee partner of course uh, he has to uh, follow brand uh, guidelines and they need to uh, uh, you know sync with the local compliances so that is mandatory yes if financial fit is a very low investment so it's not a big deal yes for the master franchisee partners we need pay people who can basically invest in the business and who has the capability to create a sub franchise network in that market so we need high energy people uh who can basically go all out and and create this network and then they can take care of the local supply chain you know so the product will be delivered to the master franchisee and then master franchisee can do sub franchisee uh, uh fulfillment fulfillment right yes and second thing basically the uh, uh, we as priya ji said they don't compromise on quality so uh, and customer service so the uh, we need partners basically who can focus on the customer service and customer experience yeah next slide please yeah so in terms of support yes of course um, you will get get end to end support to start your business uh starting from the basically your store uh, development what kind of like marketing activities you should be doing what kind of marketing activities on like social media handles and then for local markets how you are going to promote your uh, business in your local markets that entire support will be provided in terms of training and operation uh, operations guidelines so so uh, mr scoop team uh, they will provide you the complete training your in store training as well as they will train you uh at their existing stores uh, or in headquarter so complete uh, training will be provided how to handle product how to manage temperature uh, all technical qualities will be uh, provided and trained uh, to your staff uh a company will also support you in terms of uh, strategic tie ups with hotels restaurants and catering services so you can you can basically uh, you can help uh and you can basically bring large contract from from these um, uh players and then there there you can make a maximum benefit you know and as of now whatever the projections that we have done uh, in the previous slides so those return on investment are considered just only on your retail sales so whatever the sales you do from your store through customer walk-ins that is the only sales uh is considered this business has a higher upside because once you start selling like online so online will add any additional revenue and profit to your business and second thing horeca is going to add a largest revenue stream because in horeca you don't you you don't need to develop any capability you just need to book a order you know and that order will be uh, fulfilled by the uh, mr scoop team so company will supply entire stock they will do the logistic and everything and franchisee will get the pure margin here so they will get a commission on this so that is the additional uh, benefit for the franchisee partners uh, in terms of your pos and crm system uh, mr scoop they are going to have a centralized system so you will get a license to operate on that uh, system itself uh, in terms of your uh, post opening support basically your new product development as basically priya they have already uh, doing uh, 35 plus unique flavors and they will keep adding uh, more products so new r and d and product addition is their responsibility and not only the ice cream products they are bringing other two product categories as well which goes well uh, with ice creams so and your consistent product supplies will be provided and your margin 
company will keep uh, uh, basically uh, providing attractive uh, product margins to the Fintagi partners. So my Fintagi partner makes a uh, good profit. Social media marketing, of course, they will, uh, uh, they will uh, provide you. And in terms of uh, celebrity endorsement, so that is the later stage, uh, company will uh, hire some brand ministers. So that will, uh, of course, uh, increase the benefit for franchisee partners as well. Next slide, please. Maybe we can move on to the next one because this is just about yeah. how. So this is our internal corporate structure. Basically, how my, uh, basically uh, Mr. Scoop team are going to help you. So they are having like franchisee development manager. So new franchisee acquisition uh, will be taken care by the franchisee development manager. Then we have operations team who is going to support you in terms of your site select uh, selection, site uh, visit, and then your store development, equipment supplies and what kind of material you need to procure uh, to start your business. Marketing is, of course, uh, in terms of what kind of marketing you should be doing. So we have a separate uh, marketing uh, manager will help you. In terms of your HR and admin, so of course, we they will provide you the recruitment uh, guidelines. You know, so what are the qualifications for the person that you are hiring? So those guidelines will be provided. Once you hire your staff, then our HR and admin team, they will provide complete training to your staff yeah. and uh, for account and, and um, other things basically so that's the company's yeah. internal uh, mechanism yeah. uh, to yeah. audit and, and keep the track of all accounts and books and balances yeah. Yeah. next slide please yeah yeah, I, I, yeah. so with this i will end the presentation yeah. now we can take some queries oh, I yeah Sure, I would request Balraj and Prateek to take up some questions now. Hello, Priya Ji. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Priya Ji, uh, we wanted to know the first phase that we want to expand into North India, right? And then gradually we'll be moving to, you know, for Pan India level. Yes. So, so one, thing, to know... one thing here I would like to clarify. See, I am yeah. not concentric as to any zone. The only thing that I am uh, I am concentric about is that I would like to do things in a cluster. Suppose if okay. I... For, yeah. that, for that only I was asking, see if any master franchisee or any uh, unit franchisee comes for the location like, you know, East India or South India. So are we open for such kind of yes. opportunities? We, yeah, we can, we can, because if we have about 10 to 12 outlets in one area, so definitely okay. uh, we have provisions to, you know, cater to such, because see, the main, the most important thing that we have, I just don't have to think about myself, I have to understand that I have to bear the, uh, my franchisee needs to bear some costs that I have to minimize, so I can't uh, just, you know, think, get, get things started and put unexpected costs on the franchisee. So that is what I am looking Perfect. forward to. Uh, we'll have to do it in a very uh, calm and subtle manner so that everybody benefits out of it. Yeah. Perfectly. All right. One more thing I wanted to understand. How many total number of stores are at this point of time with us working? Three. And three. what is the average kind of sale which is coming on there? Uh, I beg your pardon? See, I'll just uh, I'll tell you. How many total number about, of stores uh, are there running, running stores presently of our Scoop brand? Basically, I have three, and uh, they're all of uh, all these uh, three models only. One I have in Krishna, another which is, uh, uh which is doing uh, which is uh, a cafe of about four hundred square feet, and the second one is in Pripya, which is a cafe, uh, which is an ice cream parlor of about hundred and twenty square yards, square square feet, and one of is in uh, uh West Delhi. That's a small kiosk in a uh, high end uh, street, uh, mall. So basically, I'm doing these three. And uh, if I say that uh, we are, uh, if you talk about uh, return on investment, so for uh, a cafe, we are, we are good to go for about, uh, I'll just tell you the profit margin, that's about a month, you can say roughly between 1.5 to 2.25 for a bigger one. For the smaller one, it is uh, the second one that is 100 square feet, it's about 50 to 75,000. And uh, it's almost the same around 50 to 70 for a, uh, high street kiosk. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's a 
Mr. Sahil is there with us who is asking up a question if we are opening up a new outlet in a new area. So are we going to, how we are going to manage that uh, like in the basis of, uh, you know, uh, just one second, in the basis of total number, uh, you know, master of the central kitchen, how would you, how would you give them the raw material and other stuff if you are opening up a, you know, a store in a new region? New region? Uh, no, no. But what is that? example, if, if we open up a new franchise in, say, South India, so how inventory and other things are supposed to be get managed? Uh, sir, see, so the first question that you asked, and that is the answer that I gave you earlier, that I will right. not cater to a single store in South India. Either a person okay. has to take up a master franchisee, and you know, okay. because I can deliver, again, see, if I incur an invaluable cost, okay. then, it is, uh, then I cannot transfer the entire cost to the franchisee. Neither can I bear it, neither can the franchisee bear it. So what we have to do is, we'll have to work for cluster franchises. If you want any region, minimum six to seven stores we need in that region. So that when okay. we will supply, because uh, we've all, we, I've, always, I've already been doing uh, white labeling for Nirulas. And okay. in, in a similar fashion, they also work that they have their own, uh, I have my vehicles, I have my supply chain intact. I can send my supplies, everything in one week to all the outlets. But if I, send, if I specially send every, you know, for one outlet, then definitely it, it's not viable at all. Okay. So region wise, we'll have to go in clusters. Not a standard. Yes, Acha Balraj, I would like to add here. So if you okay. look at our rollout plan, within a radius of like 150 or 200 kilometers, we can manage one unit, yes. single unit from Delhi. Okay, so that's not yes. the challenge. Beyond 200 kilometers, if we go in any area, we need a multi-unit partner who can give us five, six units minimum, or we okay. need a master franchisee who can develop the entire network. You know, so the, the central kitchen is not required to set up in each region. The cold supply chain, cold uh, supply logistic can be arranged from daily. So stock can be delivered to the master franchisee or multi-unit partner uh, across the country anywhere. Right. But to, to optimize the cost of my logistic, we need at least uh, uh, five, six store to start with. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about the brand support in marketing uh, stuff that we'll get apart from the digital marketing and other stuff? Uh, what, what is book? I just uh, just can you elucidate more around, about marketing? So what did what did you say? It is like what what are the brand support the person would the, a franchisee would get and the marketing activities just okay. to increase the number of sale and other parameters. Okay, okay. So what here I I just like to tell you is that uh, we already I have we I have already uh, I have a marketing team for my for Mister Scopes, and uh, uh, it is working uh, dili uh, diligently towards the brand upliftment. Now, as we will be adding franchises, French at a very basic minimum uh, as a very basic minimum cost, they'll be added onto our panel and they will be given specific uh, marketing help by uh, we will be arranging those partners to go to their stores like like the biggest thing in our in our field is about blogging okay insta bloggers so we have arrangements for all and okay. as and when uh, like uh, we will be uh, we will be giving guidelines as to uh, in a month how many bloggers should be invited and we will also be providing with the connects. Okay. So uh, this can be, this will be assisted by us and it will be borne by the franchisee as ever other uh, marketing collaterals that need to be printed and everything that will be borne by the franchisee. We will be giving them a blueprint for everything. Oh, well, that's wonderful. I uh, just wanted to know one more thing about the product. What is the minimum ticket size and the maximum ticket size of your product? And definitely would like to know the even the average ticket average. size. Average, yes, yes. I would like to tell you the average ticket size. See, the average ticket size of my pro of my is 220 rupees average. And Abhi, okay. I would like to say 
that uh, for for uh, what i could say is i am uh, in uh, what i am talking about is the uh, suburb no i i would say it's not the it's a not very high street market of delhi it's like uh, areas like krishna nagar where you can say you uh, it's about tier 2 of delhi it's not tier 1 of delhi so there i am saying the ticket size is about 220 Okay. okay and if we talk about uh, areas like gk m block or new friends or whatever there the average ticket size would go up to 4 okay okay so, but definitely here also our ticket size is definitely 220 plus in area okay. like and what is the which is, which is the cheapest uh, the, the the most cheapest product range like for the lowest rate and the uh, highest rate okay so uh, see uh, uh, i would like to tell you one more thing is that uh, my business concept is i have a, a very nice variation range you know i start from selling a 25 rupees soft tea oh that's okay good. to a 500 rupees sunday so what i have done what we have done in mr scopes is that we have created divisions okay so if it's a very high footfall area not very you know uh, highly uh, urban so there our softy machine uh, is installed and you know people just passers movers anywhere you know that 25 rupees uh, softy is such a uh, you can say hot seller that you know we can we just uh, sell about 2000 cones a day that's a separate business okay yeah. then for other customers the urban class and the you know the well off they come inside the cafe ice cream cafe and they enjoy ice cream starting from rupees 50 to 120 that is a cup okay then we have a range of sundays exclusive sundays then we have half liter bulks 1 liter bulks then we also do ice cream cakes so all this you know is on an average uh, can give you a very good ticket size great also uh, i just wanted to know a few more things like uh, how we are different from the other ice cream parlors in delhi or delhi ncr or you know in india level if i talk about so what are are more usps so that our people can go and sell uh, franchise in an easy mode हिंदी की कहावत है व्यापार जो है ना सिर्फ व्यवहार से चलता है ठीक है सो यू टू अंडरस्टैंड की जो द पर्सन दर उसका सबसे पहला विजन क्या है और उसका इंटेंट क्या है देखो मेरा इंटेंट बड़ा क्लियर है मेरे को अपनी आइसक्रीम अटमोस्ट क्वालिटी की बेचनी है ठीक है और दूसरा मेरा ये इंटेंशन uh, है कि इफ आई हैव गॉट दिस सक्सेस फॉर्मूला आइसक्रीम का जो बिजनेस है इतना बेहतरीन बिजनेस है एनी बडी कैन अर्न वंडर्स फ्रॉम दिस बिजनेस ठीक है लोग बात करते हैं कि हमें नौकरियां क्रिएट करनी है मैं बात करती हूँ कि मुझे ऑन्टरप्रन्योर्स क्रिएट करने हैं ठीक है थीके? देखो uh, सबसे आई आई डोंट नो अबाउट अदर ब्रांड्स कि वो लोगों का क्या इंटेंट है देखो मेरा सबसे बड़ा इंटेंट ये है एवरी फ्रेंचाइजी दैट आई ओपन शुड वर्क एज वेल एज आई एम अर्निंग दिस इज माय फर्स्ट यूएस कि मुझे अपने लिए नहीं करना है आई वांट एवरी इन्वेस्टर ऑफ माय मतलब एनी बडी हुज इन्वेस्टिंग शुड हैव द सेम healthy and you know profitable returns from this business why because my intent is very clear quality dekho sir whatever you do no matter whatever marketing you do if you do not have quality aap sustain nahi kar sakte aur meri quality meri usp hai otherwise i would have not stayed in one business for 28 years the cafe that i have in krishna nagar उसका पहले नाम वो उसका कुछ और नाम था उसको मिस्टर स्कूप्स हमने री बिकॉज मुझे इसको ब्रांड की तरह बाहर निकालना है सो so व्हाट uh, वहां पे लोग कहते हैं व्हेन वी वर यंग हम बच्चे होके आते थे आज हम अपने बच्चों को ला रहे हैं सो so बेसिकली यही uh, मेरी ब्रांड यूएसपी है कि मैंने अपना क्वालिटी सस्टेन करी है
Okay. Uh, Priyaji also wanted to understand, we have known the fixed uh, cost. So mm -hmm. What would be our monthly or running cost, in, say, working capital type per month approximately? Uh, what so are, know, I think... Yeah. Uh, Ashok ji, uh, if we can show them the uh, slide for the because see that usme aapko dekhe operational costs kya hoti hai. I can you know show we can we worked out all this we can show it on uh, to you in a financial model because uh, verbal uh, explanation or you know quoting would not be right at this point because we all we have all economics written down. Okay. The capex is clear. The operational cost is clear. And uh, uh, we we have our model ready. If uh, Ashokji, if if it's okay, we can share that if they want to see it just now. I think no, we can do it in one to one discussion. Uh, no, no, because yes, we are going to speak better. with all the uh, investors and the participants yeah, after yeah, this yeah. Uh, webinar. Just and to just wanted to understand, we are into a FOFO model completely, or is there any chances of COFO model too? Yes, there are chances of COFO model as well. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Pratik, anything else from your side? OFO and COCO. We are also moving towards company owned, company operated. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's what, that, that, that would work out really well. Yeah. Pratik, anything else that you want to ask? Uh, just wanted to ask uh, for the average ticket price. Uh, there'll be a difference, I guess, uh, in the parlor and the kiosk, right? For the average ticket price part. Not really. Not sure. There won't be. Because um, yeah. uh, what I would say is that, you know, nowadays the concept is, you know, people uh, don't uh, mind spending uh, uh, money and sitting in cars and eating, you know. It's not necessary. People will sit in your cafe and spend much. It is, uh, now it's become a myth. People are like, because my cafe in Preet Vihar, where I don't have sitting, there you can see you know a fleet of cars in the night they'll order sundays and they'll be sitting in their cars and making a handsome bill of thousand uh, 1500 2000 aram se so uh, that won't affect uh, uh, i don't think that affects you know, a big or a small thing yes definitely one thing uh, would be there that if we go in for a cafe a bigger one uh, so there, uh, you know, uh, the eliteness and the customer experience can be maximized. Where you can, you know, offer your Sundays in a very presentable and, you know, artistic manner, which is very, uh, which is the new trend for, in, like, if you say, what is Insta Instagrammable? Okay, na? So, this feel alag aata hai. Customer experience definitely better ho sakta hai. If you have a cafe of a, a, a little bigger size where you can have dine-in facility. All good, sir. I think all done from our side. Anya, over to you. Thank you, Varachi. Thanks a lot. Thank you, uh, Priyaji, for joining us here on this platform today. Uh, so we we have taken so many questions already, and we have already given a proper download about the brand. And guys, I'm sure the brand detail which we have shared with you uh, has given you an understanding about the brand in detail. Pratik from our side is going to connect with you within today and tomorrow. And we'll take the conversation forward. I hope that you all will have a wonderful day ahead. Thanks a lot one more time to all the panelists and the participants. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, ma'am.